All right, traders. This is Blake Morrow. You are listening to the Daily Roundup webinar. I hope everybody's having a decent trading session. Um, you know, another day, another equity market rally, and the S&P, wherever it is, uh, there it is, uh, S&P continues to grind higher. We're above that 38% retracement. We've got this um, the horizontal resistance coming into play right here. It comes in around 34 and a quarter, uh, and we're here. I, it's going to be interesting to see what we do by the end of the session, um, You know, knowing that the FOMC is tomorrow, um, see if there's a, any profit taking, uh, which is possible. Um, but you not, I say, I want to say possible, but not guaranteed, right? Uh, we could, uh, one of the other, I think, options for the, for the market would be actually making a rally towards a 50% retracement ahead of tomorrow too. I think this is another potential, you know, that we could move up towards this, uh, you know, just clear out some resistance here and, you know, hit some new highs before we pull back ahead of tomorrow. The, the market seems like it's really trade it's really expecting the fed to deliver on something but do you know what some of the do, do you know the currency market in my opinion is actually struggling with this and I, i'm going to say this if the fed does not deliver some sort of some sort of guidance on on easing on how they're going to you know, deliver more accommodation to the market. I think the risk is for the dollar to actually rally. And look at the way the euro's acting right now. I mean, it is. I mean, it is trading heavy. Look at the dollar Canadian. The dollar Canadian's nearing this. Uh, you know, the 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 six one eight right here at the one thirty two oh five. We just brushed up against one thirty five or one thirty two just a moment ago, um, and and it's doing it even as stocks. Are higher, and in this case, with the Canadian crude oil is higher. So you've got, you know, a weak euro dollar. You got a strong, you know, dollar Canadian. You've got the Aussie that's, um, you know, weakened significantly off this, you know, six one eight retracement. Um, you know, the Kiwi, uh, I guess, pulling back just a little bit. But you know, I think the market is really. Uh, the FX market really needs the Fed to deliver. And if they don't, we are going to have a dollar squeeze on our hands going into tomorrow. That would be my you know, gut feeling as we head into tomorrow, watching the price action today. With stocks where they're at, with the S&P up you know, a percent, NASDAQ's up a percent, a 1.7%. Uh, the Dow's up a half a percent. And with stocks up the way they're, they're up, we should see significant dollar weakness. You know, and, and you, might, you might be looking at the euro and saying, well, you know, Blake, it's, that's not the euro dollar. It might actually be the euro, you know, euro sterling, you know, weighing on, on, on the euro, which it could be, you know, and I, I, I can't discount that. But then, you know, explain to me what's happening with the, the, the US dollar Canadian then. Because that I don't know, um, and and I'm like I said, I'm surprised that we're seeing as much dollar strength against some of these currencies that we are. Uh, you, you know, you got currencies like the U.S. dollar, Norwegian krona. I mean, that's holding up very, very well. Maybe that's a little combination between some Canadian weakness and some uh, Euro weakness that's helping the U.S. dollar, Norwegian krona higher. Maybe that's it, but. You know, like I said, I, I think the, the 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 risk is building that if the Fed does not deliver us something, something tomorrow, what that something is, uh, you know, again, it's just maybe some sort of guidance that uh, the guidance that um, that that the Fed is going to do more. But until that happens, you know, I don't know, I don't know. Um, well, I'm going to show you one of the other big pivots. I think is the US dollar Mexican peso off the 127% extension. I can't get bullish yet. I can't. I, and I can't get bullish until we're back above 121.50. You can, or uh, 2150. You can see that's why I have that, um, that alarm set there. 
but it is something that's on my radar. You know, it's 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 obviously oversold and looks like it could uh, it could it could bounce here. So um, I, I'm not trading it. I'm not on the long side right now, but I think it's something we need to keep an eye on at this point. Um, oh, uh, you know, I pointed this out via Twitter, but we might as well look at it. This is a head and shoulder pattern in the Euro yen. And this is going to be, in my opinion, probably the best setup going into tomorrow. If stocks walk away from the FOMC unimpressed. So let me say that slowly. If stocks go down because the stock market is not impressed with what's happening in, in, in you know, with what the Fed has done. In my opinion, the Euro yen is probably the best short right now because the Euro is already, um, the Euro is already underperforming as you, as you've seen. The dollar yen is breaking lower out of this triangle, which most of you know. And so you, you put those two together, you got a weak Euro yen and yeah, all we have to do is, th- is sprinkle in some, some weak stock market into this uh, mix. And we're going to have a Euro yen that's probably going to trade back down to 122. So I think this one has to be on the radar for tomorrow. Um, I, I just hope it doesn't move before then, which it, it could. You never know. I mean, you know, you, it's, hard, it's hard to tell. Um, anything else that uh, is on my radar today that I'm um, really wanting to pay attention to um not not really um i guess not really i mean we got the 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 fomc tomorrow we got retail sales coming up tomorrow morning as well so uh should be relatively quiet between now and then and um you know i hope you guys just uh you know hang out and you know stay safe don't uh don't get too aggressive um you know i'm i'm still I'm still in some trades, but I'm just not super aggressive right at this moment because tomorrow is a big day. Tomorrow is the big day. Remember, if you guys haven't signed up for the Trader Summit, make sure you do so. That's uh, the the upcoming online conference. Uh, it's going to be a pretty uh, pretty pretty good event. I can't wait to uh, for us to um, uh, host that in the next week and a half. So you guys have a great one. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for tuning in today. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow morning. Actually, I won't see you tomorrow morning on the face webinar. I won't be there. Uh, I'm doing a, I'm doing a presentation in Australian, uh, like midnight tonight. It's, it's uh, for some of Pepperstone's um, uh, clients. It's basically just to introduce who I am to some of their premium clients. Unfortunately, it is going to be around midnight my time. Keeping in mind, I usually get up at three o'clock in the morning. So I will be a train wreck. I'm just happy none of you guys will be listening in to me because <laughs> I'm going to sound like a train wreck. I can guarantee it. I'm going to sound horrible. I'll be like half asleep. Anyway, Brock, have a great one. Thanks. Uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. I'll see you in the chat rooms. Bye-bye.